Hey, it's Mr. Barr, and today we're going to model equations or model real life situations using the slope intercept equation. Slope intercept equation, one of my favorite equations, makes me uh, want to sing a song. Ready? What's the song? Do you know the song? The song is. You're not even seeing me right now. You guys are just seeing walruses. There we go. There we go. The song is y equals mx plus b, 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 slam it down. So that's what we're working on. But how do we use that equation to model real life situations? So here we go. Change my camera so you can see my notes. So let's start with slope intercept equation, modeling life. There are the walruses. Those walruses? Walruses. I can create graphs and use linear equations and graphs to model real life situations. Line equations will help me understand the world around me and make predictions. So let's get this. Okay, so the slope intercept equation, y equals mx plus b, is fantastic. Um, in the last lesson, we learned how to use standard form ax plus by equals c to model real life situations. But today, we're going to use slope intercept equation. So let's get this into our notes. What are we doing? Model life with slope intercept equation. So start with your name. So we're going to model life with the slope intercept equation. So this Saturday, I'm going to work around my house. It takes me 10 minutes to wash a window. It takes me 20 minutes to trim a bush in the yard. I have a total of three hours that I can spend working, create an equation that models this situation. Now, the thing is, this is actually something from the last lesson. I would model this using a standard equation because I've got two unique things going on. I've got windows and um, what I've got like bushes. I'm trimming that's gonna work out good. So I would do see it takes me 10 minutes to wash a window. So 10 minutes per window plus 20 minutes per bush equals three hours, which would be 180 minutes. Okay, this is a standard equation, not what we're doing today. Could I graph this? Absolutely. But I don't have a piece of graph paper, but I could graph this, but I'm not going to, because we're doing slope intercept today. So can you classify the parts of the slope intercept equation? So we're going to start with a thinking map here and remember everything about the slope intercept equation. So a thinking map. And we're going to go with y equals mx plus b. And we're going to break this guy down into m and b. And I want to know everything about the m and everything about the b. So what do we know about M? M is the slope. It's the starting point. It's Liam's move. We could also call it the rate of change. When I say slope, you say rate of change. When I say rate of change, you say slope. Same stuff. B, what is, you know, it's not the start. It's not the start. Take, B is the y-intercept. It's the start. 
it's Liam's B. Let's see. Y intercept start, Liam's B. I'm not sure if I've got anything else for this one. Oh, what is M? M is slope, which is rise over run, right? So here's everything we know about y intercept start Liam's B. Let's see what my notes say. M slope rise Liam's move rate of change how it's changing starting value. So I guess the one thing I missed is how it's changing. Let's put that over there. Slope rise over run Liam's move rate of change how it's changing. And the other one, do we? How did we do with this? Y intercept start. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy so far. Are you happy? If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. Okay. So we're gonna model this situation using a slope-intercept equation. It takes me. 10 minutes to drive to work. Once I'm at work, it takes me two minutes to grade one test. So, 10 minutes to drive. Two men per test. And that 10 minutes drive, it's done. It's a sunk cost. So once I've driven to work, that 10 minutes is gone. There's no getting it back and it's not gonna change. So our total time, our number of minutes, excuse me, M, so minutes equals two minutes per test plus 10. If I go to school and I grade no tests, I've spent 10 minutes. One test would meet 12 minutes. Two tests, 14 minutes. I just modeled it. I just modeled this using this equation. Let's try another one. I have $100 in the bank. I deposit $25 a week, okay? I'm gonna model this using a slope intercept equation. My total dollar, what do they want? Weeks and D for dollars? Okay. Dollars, my total dollars equals $25 per week plus 100. Zero weeks, $100. One week, $125. Two weeks, $150. I just modeled it. Keep those notes available. I'm going to add another one. Okay, good. I want to do this one. I have $100 in the bank. So I have $100 in the bank, remove 25 per week. Dollars equals, ready? How am I gonna show that removing? That removing is taking it away. So negative 25 weeks plus 100. At week zero, I have $100. At week one, I have $75. At week two, I have $50.
All right, hey, that's it. That's the lesson. Since you're not here, you're not gonna prepare something and share it. Maybe I'll do that in a Zoom or something like that. That's it, thank you for watching and